Hey everyone, it's Dan here. Welcome to my drum studio. I'm sitting here with the practice pad and the sticks right now. And you're probably asking yourself why when I've got this incredible drum kit behind me. Uh, it's a bloody good question. The first answer is I actually like doing pad work, believe it or not. And then the second answer is I'm going to share an exercise with you guys today. So it's a super simple exercise. I'm not reinventing the wheel or anything, but it's a very effective exercise when it comes to hand control. And um, hand control is something that I get asked quite a lot about. It's also something that tends to be a focus in my private tuition too. So before we kick off, um, the gear that I'm using, because I know I'm going to get asked, I'm using the Thomas Hark Signature Winston Drumsticks. Um, I love these because they're massive and I'm really, really big on using large or heavy sticks when I'm practicing. And then the practice pad that I'm using is the Revolution Drum Chopping Block, it's called. And I love this pad for two reasons. One, because of the quality of the materials. So there's like a... Um, like a really nice silicon surface for the high rebound side, a soft rubber for the low rebound, and then this beautiful sort of teak base. This is what I would call a high-end drum pad. That's why I love playing it. Um, and then the second part is the feel of the low rebound side. I think a lot of pads get this part wrong, but this is the feel of the low rebound. The workout side is perfect in my opinion. So yeah, the chopping block. All right, let's get into the exercise. So it's based around a six stroke, but it's the modern interpretation of the six stroke roll where it's got the triplet, sort of 16th note triplet feel about it. So the sticking is right, left, left, right, right, left. All right, and then we'll keep that going. Simple enough. But the only downside to that exercise for me is that it doesn't alternate to the other side like a paradiddle would. So I'm always looking for balance so that I can even out my sort of less dominant side. So all I do is I do four cycles of the exercise or the pattern and then I just add in an extra double on that last cycle which alternates it for me. There you go. Simple exercise but it's perfect for the forearms, the fingers, the hands, um, the sticking itself is great because it covers singles, doubles, and accents. So when it comes to hand control, it's just a really, really good exercise. Um, and then, yeah, you can start to sort of speed it up and get more comfortable with it. There you go. Super simple, not reinventing the wheel, very, very effective. Um, so start incorporating it in your playing now if you're not already. And uh, if you like these sort of short, simple little tips and tricks, let me know and I'll start putting up more. Otherwise, get practicing.